uh what we are doing today is going over mods because when a new player joins carrix they want to start modding the game they have no idea uh what mods there are how they work where to get them and we're gonna fix that right oh yeah well, no we'll make that super super easy for everyone i will link all the mods in the description as well uh so if you find an interesting mod in the video just go into the description link will be there to the mod also by the way who are we talking to i completely forgot who are the guest of honor over here who are you what are you doing i'm techno the viking um i've been playing car x for a while now i work on the zml development team more as like the tech support and public relations side of it and uh i also used to run comps and still do run comps through vsd vds esda on car x and assetto corsa so where do we start what is the most important mod the backbone of mods the most important mod the mod that everyone runs is kino mod these days you can find that in their discord or it's big enough that if you even google Kino mod Carex, it'll come up in Google straight to the download page. So what is what does it do? I just got Carex. I don't know any mods. What does it do? It does a lot. Um, I know I'm going to be missing some things because of how long the list of what they do. So they have multiple versions. There are paid for versions and free versions. In the free version, you get things like um fly mod on modded maps. It loads modded maps. Um, you get player lists, you can inspect people's cars. They load objects now, they load custom parts for your car custom body kits, new rims, neons, hazards. On paid features, you also get engine swaps. The, the list just goes on and on. They also have some small graphics things, and also they have a Kino launcher, which brings me to the next thing, which is ZML, which is a different mod launcher. So if you're first getting into mods, the first decision you have to make is, do you want to run ZML, which is a mod loader, which has some other features, which is the team I work on. So of course, I'll be a little bit biased, just full disclaimer. And then there's Kino loader, which both will work with a lot of the same mods, but they won't work together. So you can just have both, right? Like you get Kino for just a bunch of stuff besides uh, the maps. And then you get the loader for like uh, mods because I think you need the ZML to get like uh, filters, right? Yes. So ZML has a bunch of built-in features as well as sub mods, such as um, Gene's graphics mod, which is a lot of filters, a lot of like, it lets you get a lot of hands on the Unity engine to really tweak the graphics how you want. It does custom skybox. There's also things such as Patty's Realism mod, which is one of my favorite mods, which allows you to have realistic tire degradation and tire heat, as well as things like a cruise control mod and a text loader as well will work for both of them. There's a cruise control mod? <laughs> there is a cruise control mod because people wanted to do rolling car shows and like rolling shots of big groups of cars. So it was just a tool to make it a lot easier. Um, at ZML, we try to do our best when people come up with ideas or recommend ideas. We try to implement things that people will find helpful for all mods and this isn't just for zml the end goal is to add things to the game that we think should already be there and so we're just trying to add things for quality of life and to make the game more fun yeah well speaking of more fun there is now a damage mod i mean i guess there was earlier there as well but now there's an updated version of the damage mod you've seen that that was originally i believe uh mr goat back in the day he was an old mod developer and now one of my really close friends uh king fisher is making that right now and that is a um uh, zml mod as well right now and it's awesome speaking of like importance we have kino mod zml what is the third big one i had to say i would probably say jeans graphics mod which is a zml mod as well and conveniently over at zml we do offer what we think is kind of a group of mods that we think if you're just starting out this is a really great group of mods and we always update the bundle as well so you can just download that bundle and it's really easy to install all of the mods just doing that we make sure that if you download that you'll have everything you need to get mods working in CarX. What mods are there and what do they do? So in the ZML bundle, currently we are release, of course, ZML, Jeans Graphics mod, as we talked about earlier, a livery tools extender, which allows up to a thousand layers of uh, stickers right now. It also allows you to move groups of stickers between cars. It also comes with Patty's Realism mod, which not a lot of people use, but I think is really, really fun. And so we include it as well as a uh, real car names, which change all the names of the cars in the garage to their real car versions that is actually very important and very a lot of people ask me like how do you get real car names so that's from you can get it from zml discord server yeah yes um we have everything posted up there we even have a thread on how to install and then the last mod in our bundle is kino mod of course so if you go to the zml discord go to how to install there is a zip file and a video on how to install if you don't have kino installed it's basically three steps so it's not so bad to install these mods whatsoever uh, I 
guess there is no like money getting money with a mod right those do exist as well and so this is a very uh hot button topic in the modding community zml will only load certain mods that we have whitelisted and we're always happy to listen to why we should whitelist a mod but as a development team we decided that we're not going to whitelist anything that bypasses dlc paywalls so unfortunately because carx offers a way to just buy money in the game and unlock everything by offering those mods it gives carx technologies a reason to shut down the moddable branch for example because if people are bypassing paywalls and stuff like that the easiest way for them to stop that is to just stop allowing mods but honestly if you just play the game like i don't use anything and right now i have like 500 million dollars everything in the game and that's just from playing it and i don't have that many hours compared to a lot of people uh, a lot of people ask how do you fly around in carx what where does this come from so so there are two different ways to do this or two good ways to do this. So Kino has it built in. So if you're in a modded room, you can fly around. If you go into the keybinds though, you can bind it to whatever you want. I personally have it bound to F1. I think I'm using F7, but I don't know if I'm flying with ZML or Kino mod. So F7, which leads us to ZML fly mod. Uh, F7 is ZML's safe fly mod, which makes it so it works everywhere. But what it does is it turns off where your car is to other players and it turns off collisions. So it's a tool to get around in the map, but you can't say grief people with it or be annoying with it. These days, there aren't that many main mods that people really are using or need to be using at all because Carax has admittedly been adding a lot of very, very good updates that have been adding a lot of things that used to have to be mods yeah that's true like carx is kind of yoinking in a good way like seeing what works what people like uh, what they mod and then adding those features like engine swaps that was like a keynote feature only yes and then carx yoinked it and now it's in the game i do think the one of the most annoying parts about the engine swaps is that you gotta like kind of grind it first you can't swap it without mods one if you just own the season pass for car x that'll unlock all of that wait season pass is something you're gonna pay for monthly no it's just one time one time payment oh wait so do i have a season pass then because i haven't downloaded specifically anything to bypass i was telling everybody it's a mod like get a kina mod or zml and you can bypass my whole life has been a lie okay so <laughs> boys if you want to just get a season pass it's pay to win if you want the engines yeah <laughs> uh pay money season pass dlc in steam wow i learned something is that all is that all the mods people need to know about honestly in this day and age i think so there really aren't that many we really pride ourselves over at zml at least to make it so that it's a one-stop shop for the mods we think that matter so of course all the mods that are in the bundle are the ones that i think will be really good uh, and in short how do you download a mod you download the pack from your discord is there a separate video there is a video but it's so so easy that i will explain it right now in fact so you download the bundle in there it's a zip file you will unzip that file and inside of that there are four files two folders, two files, and you drag all four of those into the main CarX directory in Steam. And once you do that, you'll go into Steam, right click on CarX, go down to properties. It'll open up a new window. You'll go down to the betas tab, and then in beta participation, you'll select moddable dash public branch and select that. And then when you start up your game, it should just work. If you're in the game, you want to just confirm it works in the server. How do you confirm it? So the default keybind for ZML is F8 and that should bring up the ZML menu. It might need shift F8 or like FN plus F8 depending on your computer and keyboard. The other one to check is Kino which is F4 and that'll be the same thing. You might need shift, you might need FN with it. Okay, what else do people need to generally know even like outside of us? They get into CarX, they know nothing about the game. Absolutely nothing. What do they need to know? Have fun. That's the most important thing. No, 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 um... no. You can't say have fun. They want to know what is the fastest money method what is the best car what is the My best gosh. tune the best car the best tune there's a few ways to do that um west coast arena is notorious where if you drive the rx8 or the forester i forget the in-car names i believe it's the lumberjack and like the Lynx. those two if you do time trials there you'll make a lot of money very quickly and you didn't hear it from me you can just fly mob through the course to make even more money uh, what else do you need to know um a good setup goes a very very long way in your enjoyment of the game because if you're just fighting the car you will not enjoy playing the game as much so um i know that we did a video together that explains that a little bit and i think most of it is still accurate yes boys so we 
we did make a video with him earlier on how to tune and what everything does all the attributes if you haven't seen that go check that out as well now you did mention that you get good tunes should they get it from in-game or watch youtube videos i think that there's an argument for both um the in-game tunes you can always use someone else's tune like i personally i'll always post up a tune if someone asks for it but i do think if you watch videos about how to tune it makes it so you can tweak those tunes to work better for you so don't watch youtube videos that just have the tune specs just watch videos on how to tune that's my personal belief um some people learn differently of course but i think it's best to learn how to tune so that you can make tunes for yourself well boys this is everything you need to know about modding in car wrecks and uh thank you for joining techno new players will be satisfied with that information uh thank you of course thank you so much for having me again man all right beautiful okay uh boys stay sideways like and subscribe as always uh peace